check the music on the second part there. Uh, this tune is called uh, The Rights of Man. I thought I knew it better than I did. I probably just need a reminder.
There we go. Uh, that was uh, The Rights of Man, uh, Hull's Victory, The Fish, um, Huntsman's Chorus, and The Gallipede. Uh, I think the first one is Irish and the rest are all New England. Uh, let's see. Do I have a particular period of meat region or period of music that I tend to like the most? Not really. Um, there's a lot of really good fiddle music out there, and it's fun to do different things, I find. Uh, I think if I stuck to one particular style, I would get uh, bored a lot quicker. <laughs> I will say I think Irish is probably overrepresented in my repertoire um, proportionally, but that's just kind of how it bees sometimes. Smallest is, yeah, smallest is Baby Lewis, current smallest viewer, though there might be some hot contention for that role, given the number of people I know that are having children, uh, either very recently or in the near future. Uh, if Lindsay and Ian tune in, for example, I believe you, Lewis will be usurped. <laughs> uh, and let's see, uh, a request for Tam Lynn, to which I say absolutely. Uh, this is uh, the Dusty Wine Bottle and Tamlin's Reel, also known as the Glasgow Reel.
Yeah, that was uh, Dusty Wine Bottle and Tamlin's Reel. Uh, Amy on the Loose, thank you so much for 13 months of support. That means a whole bunch to me. Thank you for letting me continue to keep doing this. Yeah, Leonard is a large cat. It's it's very funny where he, when he sits, he's pear-shaped. <laughs> very fluffy, yeah. Uh, let's see. That one's up at the top of the list. I do cut, try and keep track of when I've played things just to make sure I get some practice in. But my list isn't always up to date. Something Klezmer. Oh, that's a good idea. I haven't opened up the Klezmer tune book for a couple of streams, so let's do that. It's on here somewhere. A little book of Klezmer fiddle tunes. Um, 23. Let's play a piece called Reina. Let's find something to wait. It's, I think I just need like a big metal hunk to keep these books open. Nope, oh, that's not doing it. Right now I'm just using a bit off of the stabilizer for my for my bow. <laughs> uh archery bow, not fiddle bow.
Neptune list. was a tune called uh, Tet, I think. I don't know how to pronounce these. <laughs> um, OJ space T-A-T-E. Uh, anyways, that is some Klezmer tunes. Klezmer tunes are fun. Uh, see, Star of the County Down or Scarborough Fair, my pick. Uh, I'm going to do Star of the County Down. Um, and I usually pair that with Mari's Wedding. So we're going to do those two next.
It's a pair of tunes called Castle Kelly and the Humors of Ballycanal. Both good Irish pieces. Uh, I was thinking about that tune because uh, Kevin, aka Numb the Geek, was playing Castle Kelly on his stream uh, last time when we raided him. Oh man, we're already 40 minutes in. Wild. Uh, let's do King of the Fairies and Cottage in the Grove.
Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that was uh, King of the Fairies and Cottage in the Grove. Um, Console Beast, thank you for that follower. And Inconsiderate Hat, thank you so much for gifting out a sub. Um, which went to... Oh, no. Thank you, an anonymous gifter, for gifting Inconsiderate Hat a subscription. <laughs> there we go. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, and Mama, how's it going? Um, for those that are not aware, see Johanna in chat is uh is my mother hope you're having a good afternoon uh and no worries penguin I just it was easy enough for me to just click one thing <laughs> uh let's see let's do what will i play next that is a good question <laughs> um i'm just scrolling through my my big list of tunes right now Uh, you know what, let's do, here's a, here's a set of tunes I haven't played in quite a while, mostly because playing, um, B-flat tunes, uh, a bunch, uh, gets my, <laughs> my hand can get sore after a bit. Uh, something classical? No, we just do fiddle here. Uh, I haven't played classical for, for quite a long time. Uh, but we're gonna do, uh, the Bees Wing Hornpipe, Frenchie's Reel, and Mitten's Breakdown, and I hope I'm gonna remember them. If not, I'll pull up the music halfway through. We'll see how it goes. <laughs>
still got it. I actually went a lot better than I was expecting. Let's see, let's do something a little bit slower. Give my hands a little bit of a break. The, the two tricks with um, playing uh, B-flat tunes in terms of uh, hand soreness is you have to press like really close to the top of the fingerboard um, where the the angle creates a lot more a lot more pressure because um, instead of like if you're in the middle of the string you bend the string sort of like this and then like up uh, whereas if you're near the the end it's like this sharp angle and then slowly up so it takes a bit of extra pressure to put down in there and then also you need to stretch your hands out more because um, as the the higher you go up on the fingerboard the closer the notes get together, which means when you're down here, pretty spread out. Let's see. It's been a bit since I've played the Duchess of Bedford, apparently. Let's do that one.
Frosty Morning. Hell yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's just mark this as having been played. Uh, I do the Frosty Morning with uh, a tune called the, the Halting March. Which is somewhere in here. Yeah, there it is.
Yeah, that was uh, The Halting March and Frosty Morning. Two tunes I got out of the Fiddler's Fake Book. Alright. Should go and update some of my notes in my spreadsheet. There's still some early stuff in here that's like, you should learn this more, better. And I'm like, yeah, that was a year and a half ago. <laughs> Oop, played those two. Good, good. Um... I kind of want to do Nathaniel Gow's. I should put somewhere. It's under the name of Gallo Glass in here, I think. There it is. Oh, wait. I don't want that music. I want the other music. I have two sets of music for this. One is off of the session, and it's fine. Uh, and then the other is... Uh, something that was shared uh, to me by, from somebody in chat that is, as far as I know, the original uh, printing of it. I don't know if that, I don't know for what that is worth, given the way fiddle history tends to go, but it is, it is a very old printing of it.
pull up some music here one sec. I haven't given these two tunes names yet, so they're not on my not on my list. Yeah, uh, those are new-ish tunes. Uh, my a number of my newer tunes don't have names yet, so still working on that. Um, but I'm going to take a quick break because we're like quarter past the hour mark, uh, and breaks are important. Um, so I'm going to stand up. I'm going to stretch. I'm going to not play fiddle for a few minutes. Uh, I'm going to get a glass of water, that sort of thing. 
Uh, I hope you also stand up or sit down or otherwise do something to take care of yourself. Uh, I'm also going to run a couple of ads while I'm away so you don't miss anything. And so those coming in the near future don't see how don't have to see any pre-roll ads for a bit, which would be nice. Uh, but please don't go away. There will be a bunch more music after this brief intermission.
I'm back. Ooh, one last thing I forgot to do. I tend to keep the heat up here when I'm not streaming, because I'm skinny and I get cold easy. Um, but turns out, uh, streaming is a bunch of physical effort, <laughs> and that makes me warm. Let's see. Let's try and knock off some of these yellow tunes in my tune list. Anything that's marked in yellow, I just haven't uh, played or forgotten to mark since I started marking when I've last played things. Um, so let's do... Let's do other song, um, Dreamtime Jig, and... Uh, wild Rabbits, which are a, it's a set of jigs that I wrote. Suffix. <laughs> Everybody 
Lightning Stretch. Rise and Above actually played recently. Um,
bunch of good minor reels there. The last one was called Dowd's Favorite. Which, like many of my tunes, I got out of the Fiddler's Fake book. <laughs> Let's see. Um, this is a tune called Thomas's March, and I should pair it with something, but I haven't decided what yet. Probably something major. Probably a reel. Probably not a New England reel. Hmm. How about how about the rainy day reel? Why not? It's an E Dorian reel, but still.
And yeah, that was a pair of New England pieces out of the Fiddler's Fake book. Uh, the first one being uh, the very oddly named uh, You Married My Daughter and Yet You Didn't, uh, which is also coincidentally the last book <laughs> or the last uh, tune in the Fiddler's Fake book. And the second one is Petronella. Uh, I haven't been playing them as much because uh, it's kind of awkward to get the sheet music set up, uh, <laughs> but it seems to have worked out. Uh, and it'll be a lot easier once I get at least one of them memorized, which I think I'm pretty close on on Petronella. I have to use a... This is a mic stand as a clip to <laughs> get the two different pages showing. Um, and yeah, as, uh, as Suffix in chat here points out, uh, good Minecraft and music, uh, tomorrow I will be playing uh, Surgecraft. Uh, Surgecraft 3 is launching tomorrow, and I'll be streaming some of that in the afternoon. So if you like Minecraft, uh, definitely, definitely come back here tomorrow. All right, Emu, thank you so much for hanging by, or hanging out, stopping by, one of those two things, maybe both of them at the same time. Um, I hope you have a good evening. Uh, that was uh, Pigeon on the Gate, and 
either the Tobolton Lodge or the Teetotalers. I can't remember which. <laughs> I always get those two tunes mixed up. Uh, that was the Tarbolton. Yeah, that checks out. Uh, let's see. What time is it? 20 to 7? I wonder when Kathleen starts tonight. I know Kathleen moved her, um, her radio show to this evening. Anyone know if the start time is still the same? Or where are we at? Already live. Interesting. Well, that is good to know. Um, that means I have my raid planned up. But I'm going to keep going for a bit longer. So. That that definitely makes some things easier. Because if it was still starting at 9, I was thinking maybe I'd hang out for a bit longer to hit that. But it's already live. Then we'll just go raid her uh, in a bit. In like an hour, probably. <laughs> I do want to get a full stream in. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I haven't played John McDonald's in a bit. This is a really fun tune.
so a thought occurs to me. Uh, I have this book that I got for Christmas, which is a cool book, uh, called Eastern European Fiddle Tunes. Uh, and there's a Ukrainian section in here. So I'm going to play some of those. It's a Poland and Ukrainian section, I think. Untangling those two cultures at this point might be difficult. <laughs> at least historically. I'm also going to take this off my music stand because this book is huge. I really, I really just need like a giant metal rod to go on my music stand. That's a piece called Stater. I think I am pronouncing that somewhere close to correct. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna mangle a bunch of these names. Uh, also, fair warning, I'm sight reading most of this or all of this, I think. So it'll start off slow and fumbling, and then get better as I play it three more times. If you if you want to know what the the tune learning process looks like, it's this. <laughs>
That piece is really fun. These are really cool pieces. Um, a lot of these are in 3-8, which uh, is definitely a very Eastern European thing. Um, I think the only other tune in my collection that isn't uh, that's in 3-8 is a piece called Hessian Dance. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna put Ukrainian learning Ukrainian tunes into the stream title. So I'm basically just gonna do this for a while. There we go. All right, let's try another one.
<laughs> hey, Stacy. Thank you so much for that 16 months. Sweet 16. Also, almost coming up in a year and a half, which is wild. Uh, that was Polka from uh, Shizhov, I think. Rishov? Uh, my pronunciation of this is awful. Uh, also, there's one of three tunes by that name in here. We were playing this one earlier. <laughs> Let's see what this version is like. Alright, Suffix, what have you linked in here? Ooh, a picture of a cat. Excellent. Very good. Yeah. So there's definitely definitely some overlap between this this book and the little book of Klezmer tunes, which is neat. It's always kind of fun looking at two different uh settings of a tune to see how <laughs> how the tune got played differently at various points.
right. either out of the little klezmer book or I've just played this one before I have played a couple of the tunes out of this ah I have just played this uh, tune before it's already in my tune list <laughs>
That tune is a lot of fun. All right. I'm going to start moving towards the end of my stream. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do... Yeah, I'm going to end a little early. By which I mean like three minutes. Because um, I'm getting tired. My fingers are getting a little sore. Um, like the pads themselves are doing a lot of a lot of fiddling today. Um, so I'm going to move into my closing set, uh, which is the old favorite, Miscovered Mountain and Out on the Ocean, to a set of very good jigs. Uh, and then I'll do some end of stream stuff and send you on your way. That is going to do it for me today. Uh, I'll be streaming again tomorrow, uh, tomorrow afternoon, playing some Minecraft, uh, doing some modern Minecraft stuff, because I quite enjoy that sort of thing. I'll be listening to some music. Uh, I may even set up uh, doing some fiddle tunes by donation 
Uh, that might be fun. We'll see how it goes. Uh, if you're not already following, please do hit that follow button. Greatly increases your chances of making your way back into the back here in the future, which I think is a good deal for everybody involved. Um, you can maybe consider subscribing, maybe using one of your Prime Gaming subscriptions. Is that what they're calling it now? Who knows? Um, if you would like to follow me on other platforms, you can follow me on Twitter, um, where I tweet about stream things uh, like I'm going live, or not stream things like uh, I don't know, <laughs> not stream things. Uh, you can also subscribe to the YouTube. Uh, which is where the archives for this channel go to live. If the video is not available here on Twitch, it is available there on that YouTube. Uh, there's a cozy little Discord uh, that you can join if that's your jam. Uh, also a good place to get going live announcements. Uh, if you would like to be added, there's a role you can add yourself to once you have joined the server. Uh, the server is open to everybody. Uh, we've got a Ravelry group uh, where if you... A lot of people like knitting while they uh, listen to this stream. So if you'd like to talk to them or hang out or just look at cool pictures of knitting, that's that's a thing you can do. Uh, and last but not least, I am a member of The Garages, which is a band on the internet. Uh, and we have albums you can buy. You can do that. All right, I'm going to raid Kathleen. Um, Kathleen is an excellent human being, and I'm very happy to be able to call her my friend. Uh, she is doing uh, a fundraiser for the Ukrainian Red Cross right now. Uh, she usually streams on Saturday nights doing a pirate radio stream, um, but today she's on Sunday, so I'm going to rate her. Um, yeah, just go over there, say hi, um, have a good time. Oh, that's right, just changed her username. I just did raid Kathleen underscore LLR, which is... Her Twitch handle, not her, uh, not her Twitch username. All right, there we go. All right, hope everybody has a good one.